so first we were talking about animal bites like cats dogs and rats and we've seen that the saliva of these animals carry the germs of a deadly disease called rabies and what are all the steps that we need to follow so first we need to wash the affected area thoroughly with soap and water at least three times in order to remove the saliva next we have to apply an antiseptic lotion over the affected area and keep the area covered with a clean cloth the third point is they need to be taken to a doctor immediately the doctor may give an anti rabies injection the major symptoms of a person suffering from rabies is hydrophobia hydrophobia a person suffering from hydrophobia may be afraid of water the next is first aid for snake bite so when a snake bites someone it injects poison into the victim's body the poison enters the blood and spreads to all parts of the body so in the case of a snake bite we have to follow the different steps so we see that when a snake bites someone it injects poison into the victim's body and this poison enters the blood and spreads to all the parts of the body so what are the first aid steps we need to follow in the case of a snake bite so the first is do not move the victim this is because movement will cause the poison to spread faster so the first step is do not move the victim because in case of movement it will cause the poison to spread faster the next point is tie a piece of cloth or a bandage just above the bite this would slow down the movement of the infected blood towards the heart the next is we need to tie a piece of cloth or a bandage just above the bite this would slow down the movement of the infected blood towards the heart and the third is we need to take the victim to a doctor anti venom injections may be administered so may be administered if necessary so the first aid for snake bite so when a snake bites someone it injects poison into the victim's body the poison enters the blood and spreads to all parts of the body so we need to follow these first aid steps so the first is we should not move the victim in case of movement it will cause the poison to spread faster so this is because movement will cause the poison to spread faster next tie a piece of cloth or a bandage just above the bite this will slow down the in movement of the infected blood towards the heart and the third most important point is we need to take the victim to a doctor anti venom injections may be necessary so these are the first aid steps we need to follow in the case of snake bite